Hi, in this video I want to I want to um, spend some time showing you how to use the drawing tool. That's part of fluid math. So um, just as a quick review with fluid math, you can handwrite mathematics like uh, y equals x squared. You can create graphs from this with a single gesture. You can draw a line from the math out to the side and get a graph from it. The graph is interactive. And um, well, you could add another graph to it if you wanted y equals x plus 2. Okay, you can edit math pretty quickly by, um, for example, scribbling out the 2 and writing in a 4, and then the graph will interactively adjust. But a whole other thing you can do in fluid math is, um, is draw, just like a notebook. So I want to show, give a quick introduction to that in this video. So up here on top, there's a um, section of uh, pen palettes or pen colors and you can click on one of them like the blue one here and the next stroke you write will just um, will be ink but not recognized as math so uh, you could do that to for example write a question and say uh, does this uh, line pass through uh, zero comma four question mark okay well one problem here is this first stroke I drew is in the way so how do I get rid of it um, one thing you can do is just scribble on top of it now unlike in the math mode that I showed you earlier it doesn't immediately get rid of it and it says tap to delete and it turns the stroke red. This is because uh, you may have wanted to put a scribbly draw stroke on top of that line instead of deleting it. So if I if I continue drawing over here, and I wrote a two or something on the side, that stroke stays and it's even though it's a scribble stroke, it doesn't delete the line. Now if I do the same thing again above it, and the prompt below it is a little hard to see in this case, but it's saying tap to delete. So if I tap it, the stroke gets erased. I'll get rid of this one, and I'll get rid of the two. So that's pretty much it with draw mode. Um, you can choose a color up here. It can do some red strokes. And you draw a green stroke inside that, and a purple one. And this next one, over I can uh, choose a choose a color. I'm not sure if in this video it's going to show up, but when you click on this this button, you should see a window, and you can choose a new color. So I'm going to pick a dark blue, and draw another stroke here. Okay, uh, that's the summary of this of, of getting started with draw mode in fluid math.